My dad being a complete creep. I mean, yeah, it's kind of weird talking about your period when your dad's being a complete stalker. <laughs> you don't have to remind me that. At dinner last week, I was talking about Josh, and he goes, Who's Josh? Like, dude, mind your own business. I mean, you're going to be daddy's little princess until, like, you're 30. I know, I'm hip. Like, when I'm 30, he's going to call me and be like, Who you dating? Like, dude, come on. Yeah. Oh, dude, oh my God, he's so hot. <laughs> I mean, hey, I wish some of the dudes at our school looked like that. I mean, thank God he's new. Oh, girl, I'm hip. I was a little worried, you know, <laughs> when I come into this school about the selection, but thank God he's here. I mean, who should talk to him? I could do it. Um, how about I talk to him today, and then you can talk to him at school tomorrow? Sure, I guess. Thanks. Yeah. What's up, Alvin? Um, nothing. Uh, how do you like school? School? School is school. It's cool, I guess. I can't unsee what I saw that day. Her lying on the ground, pointlessly trying to revive her. Connor, no one your age should have to see what you saw. No one should have to see what you saw. For me, the hardest part is just seeing her hand twitching, then just going still. I understand if you need to take some time off. Taking time off school? I've thought about it, but really school is the only thing that distracts me from it. The problem is when I get home with no distractions and then the whole thing is just playing on my head in a loop. I mean, I think also, Avril really needs someone right now and I'm kind of her only friend. Well. Your ability to be open with your friends, to reach out to them, is what's going to get you through this. You and Avril will get through this. Thanks, Doctor. No problem. And anytime you need anything, feel free to reach out. I'm here. Okay, appreciate it. Sticking with me through all of this. Yeah, of course. You're my friend, and that's what friends do. These were me and Amy's woods. We used to come out here when we were kids and build forts out of sticks. Oh, really? Yeah, I know it's not the most girly thing to do, but I mean, if you didn't know, yes, we're both kind of tomboys. <laughs> it's kind of true, but I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Do you ever feel like there's this big hole in your chest? Sometimes. I mean, ever since Amy died, I just felt like there was this emptiness inside me and you just want to fill it, you know? Yeah, I got you. Hey, come over here. Isn't it 
Isn't it nice out here, Connor? Yeah, it's nice. It's cold, but it's nice. Yeah. Whoa, I will. Um, I'm not in the mood, okay? Sorry. It's okay. Oh. Actually, I gotta go, but um, I'll catch you tomorrow, okay? Okay. What's up, bro? What's up, man? Hey, uh, why are you eating alone over here, man? You got like a whole team that you can eat with right over there. Is practice too much bonding for you or something? <laughs> nah, you guys are cool and all, but sometimes it's like eating by myself, you know? It gives me time to like think about stuff. Huh. Well, that's strange as fuck. But you know what, man? Your jump shot is on fleek. Take all the time you need to think about your game. Hey, uh, I don't want to come off as nosy or anything, but weren't you with that Amy chick when she got hit by a car? Yeah. Hmm. Must have been a fucked up thing to see, right? Was there any, uh, was there any blood? Bro, I, I don't want to talk about that. I understand. I understand. I was prying a little bit. I'm gonna head back to my table, bro. Right. Catch you later. See you. Hey, you okay? What's up, Avril? I just miss her so much. Why did this have to happen to her of all the people? I mean, all Mr. Frederick does is give people Fs. Why couldn't he have gotten hit by that car? Dang, you're right. I guess it's all good, though. Amy's in a better place now. Where? The ground? No, not the ground. She's in heaven. She's looking down on us. Yeah, I guess so. Well, I gotta get to class, all right, so... I'll see you later. Um, Connor. Yeah? Um, Dev's having a party tonight, and I was wondering if you wanted to go with me. Uh, yeah, that, that sounds cool.
Hey, yo, Connor. What's up, man? What's up? Looked like you really enjoyed that party, huh? Yeah, the party, the party was all right. I mean, it was pretty chill. It's crazy, though. I still feel like some shit. It was like two days ago. Yeah. Well, you know how to turn up. You a dog. You call Avril yet? Avril? No. Call for what? I mean, after you guys hooked up? After we hooked up? Yeah. She took you to the bathroom, and I was hearing some noises. Some noises? Yeah. Fucking serious? Yeah. Fuck. Are you gonna eat that? Are you kidding me, Avril? No, oh, babe, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong is you taking me in the bathroom and raping okay, me. Okay, hi. Talking really loud, somebody's gonna hear you. It wasn't rape, it was love. I mean, we got super close to all of this, right? Listen, I never want to see you again. Stay away from me. Jones didn't put me in this time. Yeah. I don't know. I was thinking the same thing, but just keep working hard. You get your chance. I mean, he only gives Dev playing time, not me. <laughs> what the hell? Oh no. Maybe a little bit of favoritism, but just, what can you do? Yeah. Fuck basketball, right? <laughs> oh man. I gotta uh, done my bio book, but I'll catch you tomorrow, right? Oh, yeah, see you, man. All right. Morning, sleepyhead. Where, where am I? Where are we? We're in my room, silly. I mean, you really scared me there. I mean, you were asleep for like ten hours. Stop. Like, what, what's going on? What are you, what are you doing? This is, this is crazy, Avril. I mean, our love isn't crazy, okay? No, what's crazy is you kidnapping me in, in your house, having me tied up. Like, did you think about my mom? My mom's gonna be worried. Silly, of course I consider death. I texted your mom from your phone saying that you were working on a project with a classmate. I mean, dang, it took forever convincing that woman that you were actually doing a project. Avril, you're crazy. You're actually crazy. Help! Help! Is anyone here? Oh, baby, nobody's going to hear you. My mom and my dad are on some trip trying to save their marriage. I mean, we have the house all to ourselves. Why are you doing this? What are you doing? I'm doing this for us. Amy's death gave birth to something beautiful. Our love. Just let me go. Please, please just let me go. I mean, speaking of true love, true love is getting that bitch Amy killed. Amy? You killed Amy? I mean, I didn't kill Amy, but Dev was more than happy to do it for his next fix. I mean, as much as I love this song, I think Joy Division is wrong. It says the love will tear us apart, but... I think love makes us whole. I mean, 
You make me whole, I make you whole, and the only way we can survive is just we're together. And the only way to do that is through death. Oh shit. I mean, if we die together, we get to go to heaven together. And there's a judgment-free zone, so... Were you gone earlier or what, Um, um, I'll be right back. Why are you trying to leave me? Oh shit, what the fuck, Avril? Stay, oh, you can't leave, it's just us forever and ever, right? Are you ready, honey? Are you ready to eternalize our love? I'm warning you, stop. Some fools fool themselves, I guess.